good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good whatever time of day it may be for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Layback Gamer, and we're back with another video. I'm not sure what it is, but it is bound to be, hopefully, a very exciting one. So yeah, we're back. And, well, you read the title, so you know exactly what you're going to be doing. So, if you like the video, leave a like. Maybe even consider subscribing if you really like the video. Ooh, that'd be very nice if you did. And, well, yeah. So sit, so go on, grab some food and a beverage. Maybe not one that's that fancy. Sit back and enjoy the show. Or potentially the next village. Also have to keep sleeping around here and then use uh, some minecarts and some rails in order to get all the villagers out of here. Well, let's see here. I think... Uh, this one has a... Well, to be fair, I think all of them have a bed in it. Uh, there wasn't a bed in there. Oh no, this one doesn't have a bed in it. Oops. Get down the ladder, get down the ladder, get down the ladder. Thank you. Let's go find that other one. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? There's the other one. I don't want to accidentally, you know, kill the villagers off through not sleeping. Like one of the villagers got hurt. Hopefully it wasn't a stop you violated the law kind of villager. Because that would just be rude. Okay, I'll climb up here and sleep in the bed. So it looks like uh I'm just gonna take a quick I don't even know if I got the screenshot. Let's screenshot that. There we go. I accidentally did it twice. What is that over there? That red brick. That don't look like a normal brick. So the home base is that way. And where I think we saw the other village was over this way. There's a watchfire beacon there. Uh, I thought the, this uh, this does have a chest, but I don't think it has anything in it. Yeah, it's just a chest. What do we got here? Uh, sakura leaves and a sakura tree. Yep, I see the uh, building in the distance. We'll just use this place to uh, top off more of our supplies. Oh, and uh, there's a forest fire going on here. Yep, another village is just over this way. Huh, not a bad find. Pretty good find, not gonna lie. I like this. I like it. This one also feels like a much bigger village. Maybe because I believe it is a much bigger village. What's here? What is this? Oh, it's a battle tower. Question is, is it one with the golem that's on top of it, or...? Break that. Breaking this too. Hey! I'll take a direct upgrade. We have a cobalt. Some diamonds, which is pretty nice. Oh, eight diamonds. That's a lot of diamonds. Fat loot. The heck?
What happened there? Oh, there's so much in that cave. I can hear them all. Please, silence. Oh, nice. We leveled up too. We'll grab those. Right, just to make sure that nobody actually breaks out of here. Oh, jeez. You are all yelling very loudly. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Maybe I have. I can't remember. Maybe I did and it got burnt down. No, I feel like I've never seen this one before. This is a pretty nice, luxurious place. Uh, we don't have any normal potatoes for growing, so we'll dump these. And there's now a full... Well, let's dump the water bottles, too. No point in hanging onto them. Okay, here we go. Now we're out of here. You guys can all... Quiet, please. Okay, there's a watchtower, so that'll get us armored up. If there is anything to arm up against. I missed the, yeah, I missed the door. I always pick the wrong side to enter the this building. Okay, what do we got here? Arrows. And lots of them. And an axe. Oh, nice. Direct upgrade. I think I have a lot, of, a bunch of those at home, so we'll go ahead and uh, combine that. There's a sword. We will uh, do that. Pin mill there. Another tower. Another thing there. Alright, I think it's about time we get heading back. There's lots of animals around here. A ton of animals. Uh, I might try installing another animals mod, and well, we'd have to go out and search for some, but give us a little more variety in the types of creatures that we're seeing. Yeah, if we're going to get to the bottom of that battle tower, we'll have to bomb the place out. Honestly, pretty good loot. We got a good haul from that. Lots of diamonds. We can make ourselves some diamond tools. I don't even have to go digging, really. There's some lava pools on the surface. We pick up some water. We go toss, douse out some uh, some lava pools, and we can get to the we can get to the second biome, or the second world, the Nether. And we also have the bit. Oh, do I have the eight, the atem on here? That was my other question. Uh, Scara. No, I don't. Right, that's another one that we're going to also install. We're going to go to the atem. There, the atem. We have a nice big fortress here, dedicated towards well, essentially our our base our base of operations. And I might also re-add on ice and fire, but that would come at a much later date. I mean, I, I, we're talking very far down the road once we're in very late game territory. That way, we, you know, we've done all the exploring that we want, and we'd have to, you know, travel to new lands using Nether or the other biomes in order to get out to there. All right, so we've uh, gained a few items. I dump that into there. We'll pick up the spruce wood again. And we have the spruce chest. Pretty nice looking chest too, if I do say so myself. There we go. Uh, I don't have that pickaxe just yet. So there we are. Excellent. All right, where is my sand? We're going to need to start digging a ton. 
And I do mean an absolute metric ton of stuff. Or metric ton of sand. Right, so this little, uh, the wall is going to be three wide. So I have to keep that in mind. However, the buildings will kind of protrude into it. Maybe I might even... Hmm. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this just yet. But yes, so we're going to come out to here. Kind of like this. Like there, and extend the place out to just about here. I have to figure out how they built, how the towers got built in there. Yeah, so there we go. Looking pretty good so far. Apparently, we used our shield at some point. I'm not sure when. Also, there's a a hostile mob over this way. It's over here. That's so hostile towards me. Oh no, it's gone. Got the sun's starting to set though. Sun's starting to go down. This, there we go. Keep it digging. And let's craft some of the sand up. And of course, there's going to be stairs at some point. Go sleep in the bed. Uh, it's close enough to nighttime, I believe. All right, let's see here. So, hmm, the base level is going to be here. And there's a staircase right there. I'll uh, be prettying this place up a little bit later. But yeah, we have a door. The door would be here. And I don't want this, it to be a sunken room. The staircase here. Oops. I have enough food for a little bit that I can survive without having to uh, go grab any more. Go. Let's keep digging. We're probably also going to have to replace the uh, sandstone on that. We'll we'll eventually replace the sandstone on this wall with a smooth sandstone, and maybe even opt for some. Like a stone facade on the outside, but have it really built out of sandstone. Yeah, that could work out pretty well. I like that. I like this idea. Uh, let's see here. We have to clear this whole mountain out. I don't necessarily... Mm. Maybe I don't clear the whole mountain out. We just... Like, again, a nice facade here. And we'd have it like that, and the walls would build up to make sure that we don't, you know. It's not going to be completely flat. We are going to bend. Oh, crud. I wasn't supposed to do that. It's supposed to be this layer here that we uh, completely shave off. Continue this way. 
It's okay if the inside's made out of sand, like the normal sandstone, you know. But the outside, not so much. However, I think I will make like some sort of pattern on it. Mining, digging, digging away all the sand. All the sand needs to go away. Yes, it does. I don't have a good digging sand song, so... Oh, there we go. There goes my iron shovel. Yeah, so it's going to stretch for most of, the bat most of here, all the way to there. Got to flatten this up here a little bit. Let's see, so then we grab that. There we go. I ran out of sandstone. That's okay, though. Actually, speaking of ran out of sandstone, we can use this over here now. So like that. There we go. Show wheat. Oh, we got corn. Nice. Where did this get added in from? Corn up. Ah, oh, this is Pam's Harvest Craft. That'd make it right. Yeah, that'd make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, yeah, that that would make a lot of sense. All right, let's uh, deposit all that in here. Da -da 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 Ah, crud! Of course, it shows the wrong chest. Ah, I see. And put this on top. And then, oh dear, I gotta sneeze. Excuse me. Um, okay, yeah, there we go. Alright. Now, toss all this in. There we go. Yep, 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 yep. And there we are. Nice. Very nice. I'll take that. go just like that and I'll probably put like a nice window up here just like that looks pretty good And oh, I need a shovel. And we, we well, we have a little bit of diamonds. Suppose I don't mind using one of them up to make a quick shovel, and then we can enchant it later when it gets really low. Yeah, we can do that. Fire starter. Oh, cool. Cornbread beef. Wow, cornbread. A uh, corn and uh, corned beef breakfast. Ah yeah! Wow, that's a massive buff. However, getting to these getting to these like high tier items definitely take will definitely take a very long time. I mean, look at that. We need a skillet, uh, ketchup, eggs, corn, beef hash, which already requires a lot. Corn beef. Yeah, like getting to those end tier like is so rewarding, but it takes such a long time. It's why we kind of have to get everything that we can get our hands on. Ah, here we go. Now we're starting to pick the sand up really quick. Ah, yes. Just grab all that sand. All of it. We have to fix up our first little hut. And it will be our base of operations for which we will seek to reclaim the rest of the fortress. The rest of this fortress. 
and also expand upon it, making it greater. We are, we're going to make this place great again. I hope you all know we're going to make this place great again. That's my slogan for here, yeah. That was a terrible impersonation. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh boy, that was a bad impersonation. Alright, let's keep going. Da, 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 da. Oh, diamond tools. We already have... Like, within the first couple episodes, we already have you, and we, we haven't really gone out too far. We'll have to dig up some more diamonds later, though. I also am thinking about installing a orbs above diamonds at, at a bit of a later... Well, maybe sooner rather than later. And then code it in to only spawn like black opals in mountains however when ice and fire gets added in that's also where i'll code in all the dragon la like dragon layers to spawn in so that it creates a yeah this you need you need to go digging in a mountainous biome in order to find it but it's it, high risk yet the black opals would be such a high reward sand right there get all this out oh, what's this here limestone Ooh, nice we can make some nice limestone buildings in here too I'm just gonna make the walls primarily out of sand out of sandstone yeah, so this is going to be the small space that we have to play with. You know, it's supposed to be like a nice little farm area. Uh, we have essentially... I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this, but like a, a little water chute that it goes up. We're going to make a water chute on this side where the water is... You know, we can ch we'll channel the water up into it. It'll come out and it'll be like a miniature aqueduct. Uh, we'll have an aqueduct running along the side of the wall, spilling water into... Uh, it's going to look good. Trust me, ladies and gentlemen, I plan on making this look really good. You guys will read... Like, well, I had a bunch of people asking for Hexacraft after our From Zero to Hero series. I want to make sure that this is really... That this is a good series for you guys. You've been requesting for it, and I'm hoping to deliver on it. Fingers crossed. Oh, it's fingers crossed. Alright, there we go. We can sleep once more. Yes, we sleep. We sleep until we're able to come out and then strike at all of our enemies in the world! Ah! <laughs> uh, we might check out that meteor crash in a little bit. I do want to get the garden up and running. Just bar with me one second. Uh, normally, whenever I play games, I have something running on my tablet, on my mobile little tablet. Uh, more or less, right now I got uh, Raid Shadow Legends running on this. And yes, I do enjoy playing the game. A bit. Honestly, it's a, fun, it's a nice little, uh, it's a nice time waster game. So we need to put this up. Go. Oh, we have a bunch of sandstone right there. Oh, that's cool. So in the bottom, it'll actually tell me how many of the blocks does have. Now, if I happen to run out, no, it does not. There was a mod in our uh, on the server that allowed it. That essentially, whenever we ran out of one, and it switched to the other. Or if we ran out of an, of an item in our hand and we happen to have it in our inventory, it'd give it to... It, it would pull, drop it down into our hand. Alright, let's see here. So, yeah, this should be a decent enough of a ground to at least get started with. 
All right, so the idea is uh, the aqueduct is going to be running along the wall. It's going to be too wide, so one, two, this is going to be on the side. This is where it pours it. This is where the opening is, and then it starts to pour out into here. So that means we need to make this start it here and have it stretch along there. Now we need to go get some dirt. Thankfully, uh, we're not too far into a sand bot, into the desert biome where we don't have any access to dirt. We just have to go out here. Oh, look at that. A bunch of quicksand. Can I do anything with quicksand? No. I can't do anything with quicksand. Eh. Well, we can always use it as like some decorate. It's a way to decorate. The other thing I would really love to do is also get, like, make a menagerie of all the different types of animals and mobs that we can get. And it, well, the animals it would be more of a zoo area, but the mana but our monster menagerie would be all underground. And I'm also just noticing that this is still very, very loud, and I do apologize if I have been blowing out some people's eardrums with the sound of these. So let's turn this down to 35. How does that look? Ah, uh, still a little... Uh, I'm going to have to play around with the sound on this, but... Um, are you okay there? Do you require medical attention? Probably not. Oh, look at that. More of these windy sweat plants. Some more chickens here. Cherry bomb. I'm honestly not... I'm trying to... F hmm. What the heck would this do? Any other red? No, there isn't. I don't think this did anything else. Oh well. I'll probably end up removing that grave and we'll make our own elsewhere. Of course, we're not going to be fitting ourselves into it. We're not supposed to be the people who die. So let's pick all this out and Okay, I gotta sneeze, I think. Yes I do. No I don't. I'm good? We're good? Okay, I'm good. And so this I'm assuming is all my bobbles. So I think I have the bobbles mod on here as well. So, that. We need some nice little lanterns here. Oh, do we have Bibliocraft on this? I forgot to check. Do we have that? Uh, no, we don't. No, we do not. I'm going to install that mod on. So, yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a customized mod pack. With some with some extra add-ons into it, uh, so yeah, that's pretty. It's pretty cool. Okay, we got some hostels over there, so that one's would. Uh, I gotta dig down at some point, or I have to be lucky enough to find. Uh, so where have we explored? So we kind of go. Into, well, actually, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't go after the meteor. To be fair, to check where it, what's happened with that. Uh, looks like a strange circle here. I don't think I really checked that out at all. Uh, yeah, there was a, some sort of tower there. Got the village there. We have a village here. It's a battle spire. I don't think I saw that. Looks like the start of a ravine. Uh, we checked this out. Yeah? Maybe not. We definitely checked this out. We've seen this. The Battle Spire, that's a slime island. Yeah, you know, uh, we can wait till morning and then I don't see why we shouldn't go over to here. Do a little bit of quick exploration. And try to find something cool. So, let's see here. 
All right, we need a space. I might make a two space for a walkway. Three, four, five. Dig this up a little bit, see if we can get full water sources to come in here for the most part. Nope, I can't get any more full water sources into there. There we go. There we are, and of course convert that into there. Looks like it uh, kind of goes to here, but we can have the wall kind of curve out, curve out a little bit, It'll form a nice little curve here, and then attach back to the tower there. I can make that work. All right, so here we are. There we go. Something like that. Then on this side, this tower would come out a little bit here. Maybe not this much. Let's go two back. And then uh, like this. And welcome back. You have made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button if you really enjoyed, maybe share this video to anybody who you think will enjoy my content, and also don't forget to check out some of my other stuff. I don't only, I'm not only doing this game, but I also have done a ton of other games. Well, a ton, I think, in cap, well, I'm not sure how many games I've done at this point, but anyways, here's a little, small little bit of collection of games that I've done. If you look on screen, it should take you to either another video or a playlist. Maybe you'll enjoy that. Perhaps you might not. I don't know. We will find out. Hope you all enjoyed, and until next one, take it easy.